Hey everyone, what's happening? Almighty Mandels here, bringing you a brand new Let's Play released exclusively on Pokey Gangsters. So yeah, buckle down, get ready, it's about to happen. Your mind is about to be blown, and I am beginning a new adventure because I don't want to continue where I left off before. Uh, I started this earlier just to kind of get a feel for what Sacred Gold was. I've never played this, hardly play played it at all at this point, so this should be interesting. Uh, add to the interesting level, I'm going to be doing a Team Rocket Challenge, which I'm sure none of you are aware of. Um, <laughs> very underrated challenge that people do. Um, I made kind of my own rules. I added my own rules to it. I made kind of a Nuzlocke Team Rocket Challenge hybrid. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a mess. It's going to be a fun mess, though. It's going to be those messes you like to see in NASCAR when um, people crash. Because the race itself is boring, but when fuck-ups happen, it's going to be awesome. So, the rules I need to get to, because as of right now, you're scratching your head, you're confused as hell. Um, I put the rules here in my telephone, which I cannot find at the moment. Here it is, and I'm going to read those to you now, since there is boring dialogue happening at this moment. You don't care, I don't care. Let's continue. Ah, uh, wait, I'm going to enter my name first. Sorry, bear with me. Please tell me your name. I'm gonna go with my internet alias as opposed to my real name because fuck that. Mandels. Um, expect to see that name in every Let's Play from me. So, anyways, enough of the jibber jabber. Okay, rules, rules, we like rules. Okay, first rule traditional Nuzlocke rule. Everyone's aware of it. Um, if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead. I have to either release it or put it in a quote-unquote dead box and leave it in there. I'll just be releasing them though, because, yeah, that's what I want to do. And, uh, now, adding to my rules, um, let's see here. Number two, I'm restricting myself to the amount of Pokemon I can catch. I'm not adding the rule where you have to catch the first Pokemon encountered in each area because that would suck with a Team Rocket challenge. I'll get to that soon. But second rule is I can only catch 20 Pokemon in Johto, 10 in Kanto. So that's still pretty limiting. Uh, I thought that was fair. And it'll be a challenge. This, this will definitely be a challenge. So don't sweat it. And let's see here, next rule, I cannot catch the same Pokemon twice. That is a small rule, but it's an important rule, so deal with it. You need to know it. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Okay, this is where the whole Team Rocket challenge falls into place. I am restricted to only, uh, with the exception of my starter, I'm restricted to only catching a certain uh, type of Pokemon. I'm only allowed to catch Poison, Dark, Bug, Ghost, Ground, and a few normal types. The normal types I can catch are Rattatas, Sentrits, Zigzagoons, Beedoofs, Meowths, Lickitungs, and Kangaskhans. And again, this is all with the exception of my starter, which I have to obtain. So, boo fucking who. And, next rule. I am a lot. This is an interesting rule. Um... Definitely adds to the whole Team Rocket-esque type feel. Um, I'm allowed to catch Pokemon outside of the previous types that I mentioned. Now bear with me. So long as I steal them from another trainer. Oh yeah, I get to steal from other people. And I will be, of course, using a cheat to do that. It's the only way that can be done. So before you point your finger at me and go, Dude, cheater! Just, it'll make this fun, so... I thought it was necessary, um, but um, in addition to that rule, I could only catch in, uh, Pokemon, I could only steal Pokemon from important figures. I can only steal from gym leaders, uh, my rival, etc. Can't just go around and, you know, steal Joey's Rattata because it's just the most godly thing in the universe. And yeah. It, um, I didn't explain it, but I did pick Chikorita as my starter, because Chikorita's boss, I always pick the grass starter, and I'm naming it Fig, because I did so with my first Chikorita, and that's what's happening. Fig is my nig. Deal with it. Um, and again, 
Well, Chick Rita just is the face of masculinity, so I thought it would, um, you know, show how much, how many balls I have here. Okay. Enough of that nonsense. Let's continue with the rules. I still haven't gotten through that because I'm stalling. Um, next rule. Pokemon that are given to me, such as this Chikorita, are considered stolen Pokemon. So they may be used, even if they're outside of the, um, you know, the type, the type limits. Um, so yeah, Professor Elm is a shady dude working with the black market, and he just gave me a stolen Pokemon. That's how we're looking at this. Um, so yeah, just, just, just assume everything I'm doing is just dastardly and sinister and just foul and evil because that's how I want you to look at me. No more, no more, no more of this goody two-shoe shit. I am playing the bad guy throughout this entire series. Okay, now, next rule, I got a nickname on my Pokemon. Simple rule, um, just makes the Let's Play that much more fun. I will be nicknaming everything. Expect to see some stupid nicknames too, because I am notorious for giving Pokemon retarded ass names. Anyways, got to talk to my mom, even though she is uh, one of the least important characters in the game. Oh well, I guess she does get the plot going, so <sighs> here we go. And last but not least, I have the very last rule is, yeah, probably the most important rule. My ultimate goal as a Team Rocket Grunt is not achieved until I capture every, uh, yes, I know how to call, until I capture every legendary Pokemon there is to catch. And this game is full of those bastards, so that should be fun. I will, of course, be collecting all the gym badges and whatnot. I'm pretty sure you have to do that anyways to catch all the legendaries. Um, I haven't played this game personally, so I couldn't tell you who's in this game. But I've heard there's tons, so just be prepared for that. And god damn it, I thought I was home free. I thought I was out of this town, ready to kick some people in the balls and do other evil things. But nope. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, good idea, Professor Elm. If you got anything sinister cooking up, just give me a call and I will indulge in that uh, to the fullest of my capabilities. Alright, so let's run into this grass patch. And there are different Pokemon... <laughs> Outside of Soul Silver and Heart Gold, you can catch. You can catch every Pokemon in this game uh, up to fourth generation, so that's interesting. But so far, just ran into a Hoot Hoot. Should have just killed it for the experience, but I did not. I ran like a little prissy girl. Come on, I gotta sh I gotta give Team Rocket a good name. I gotta start killing things. But anyways, yeah, Hoot Hoots were plentiful. And the old gold and silver games. If you played those games at night, you were you were um, expected to see lots of those bastards. And we got a Rattata. Again, you can see those guys everywhere in the old games. Not too much excitement there. But then again, Rattatas are kind of the signature Pokemon for Rocket Grunts. So I'll probably be using one of those throughout my playthrough just because... Every single one you fight seems to have one. Alright. Just gotta do it. I really wanna do this whole Team Rocket thing to the fullest of my of the experience. I really wanna make this a thrilling experience for you and me and it's just gonna be fun. Did I really just go through all that? I can't pluck off that apricorn because I don't have a case for it. So boohoo for that. Is there an item up here? No, I guess not. I'm just gonna book it to the next town. Because I can. And we're about to be stopped by what is, again, a really annoying character. I thought my mom was one of the most annoying characters in this game, but no. This dude doesn't even let you touch his shiny head, so he is completely pointless. I really wish it would just give you an option to follow this dude. Like, hey, if you've ever played any Pokemon game, you'll know what's going on here. I mean, he even, he shows you the fucking ocean. Like, like that's, like there's any point to that. Even if you haven't played Pokemon, is, is, is this necessary? Look at this. Ugh. This is the sea, as you can see. No shit, Sherlock's. 
What do you want, the nautical medal of the year? Because I ain't giving it to you. You're annoying. Unless, of course, you decide to let me touch your head. Nope. He's just going to give me his old rod. That is sickening. <laughs> his old man rod. Think about that for a minute, guys. Just, just think about that. Try not to think about it too hard, though, or you may have um, nightmares. You may never want to touch this game again. And I can't remember... What am I doing? I, I don't need to be healed. I can't remember if you um, obtain that old rod in the old um, in the traditional Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I think they may have added that to this ROM. Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. Mm. And he gave me a little map application for my iPhone. I mean, Poke Gear. Sorry, copyright. Copyright. But um, I learned something today, guys. I learned. That, um, Dr. Pepper with vanilla is no bueno. Oh, a low tad. That's interesting. But yeah, don't... Like, we have a gas station with a little fountain area where you can just dispense, f uh, like, cherry flavors and berry flavors and everything, and it's, it's pretty awesome for the most part. But I tried to put vanilla and Dr. Pepper, and it, it was not good whatsoever. You... I, there's vanilla coke there's van um, cherry dr. pepper but I know no I know now why there is no vanilla dr. pepper just just take my word for it and goddamn my attack has been lowered so many times slow tad's putting up quite the fight what doesn't matter I'm about to destroy it you can drench me all you want it'll do you no good I'm a grass type you're making me stronger, Lotad. You're fueling the fire. And I'm certain that'll level me up. Yes, yes, indeedy. Level six. Aw, oh, yeah. Um, and I hate to say it, but... I really might end up boxing Fig, because... As much as I love Chikorita, he's just not... He just doesn't really fit the whole Team Rocket look. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how my team comes along. I really want to... I really want to, um, you know, like I said, oh my god, I can't get into the door. Like I said, um, do this Team Rock thing to the fullest of my capabilities, so, yeah, might end up boxing Fig for that reason. Sorry, Fig. I probably won't even be that sad if he dies. You know what, yeah, I'm not going to be sad if anyone dies. I'm a cruel, heartless bastard. I'm a Team Rocket grunt. I'm using Pokemon as tools, not friends. Yeah. Let's go with that. And this dude, I just went in here because either way, he's, he's really weird. Like, if you walk past him, he barges out of his house and he's like, Hey, why the fuck didn't you have the audacity to check out my house? It's awesome. So it's like, whoa, dude, calm down. So he pretty much gives that to you no, regardless of where you go. So that's, that's that. We got a C dot too. Um, lots of grass Pokemon. I'm not, not liking that. I mean, I need something other than, there's only so many Pokemon I can catch, so. Let's see something that I can use to my fullest of capabilities. He's gonna bullet seed me. Ain't gonna do shit. Sorry. Battle animation takes so long. But it only hit two times. Yeah, that was two times. Imagine if it hit five times. That would have been annoying. Definitely annoying. Okay. And, uh-oh. That might do some damage. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Oh, nope, he's dead. Ain't gonna do anything. You're dead. <sighs> Can't do nothing rotten on the ground, CDOT. Unfortunately. And I'm level seven. Fantastic. And this is about where I stopped uh, my first little playthrough. <laughs> I just wanted to get a feel for what the game was like. Very similar to Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Minor differences, awesome differences, but yeah. So from here on out, it's a total mystery. So uh, don't spoil anything for me, guys. Please. You probably will, but eh, I can't stop you. And look at that. Uh, that. <laughs> is a shocker. Cynthia, I didn't expect to see that. I know that wasn't in the older games. Just as I just as I said it would be a mystery. That was definitely unexpected. 
Uh, I'm still drinking this shitty beverage. I don't know why. It's hard to put down. Ugh. Yeah, I still have the vanilla Dr. Pepper. Don't drink it. I'm, I'm saving you all the trouble right now. Uh, even though I'm supposed to be an evil bastard, I should be telling you to drink it. Hmm. She's like talking about the chosen one or some shit. I'm not even sure. <laughs> really? And Eevee. Hmm. And it's a female Eevee, too. That is definitely some shit right there. That is a stolen Eevee, by the way, because it was given to me. And I can use it. Uh, it's considered stolen. Uh, Cynthia is a mastermind. She joined Team Rocket. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm making this up. But just bear with me. Pretend that's what's happening. I'm going to call you Allison because... <laughs> can't think of anything creative. It's rather late at night, and that's the best I've got. Allison it is. Numerous possibilities of Eevee. I know about that. I'm aware of Eevee's capabilities. You don't need to tell me. Yeah, get on out of here. Probably off to go blow Giovanni or something. I mean, she's already dressed in black. She could totally pass off as a Team Rocket admin or something. I'm going to be the Team Rocket boss by the end of this. It's going to be great. And thanks for the Apricorn, Mr. Pokemon. I just kind of plucked that from your tree that you probably spent hours working on. Yep. That is a bookcase. That is a bookcase indeed. Oh, you grabbed an egg. Okay, fair enough. Um, you can totally trust me with that. I I'm not an evil dude. Uh, you can trust me with a precious Pokemon egg. I won't do anything dastardly with it. I won't scramble it or anything. Of course not. Probably will, actually. Uh, thanks for healing me. I suppose that was necessary. I was a little low on health. Not really, but... Whatevs. And we got Professor Oak here. Yes, I'm aware who, who you are. I read your article in the New Yorker. You don't need to explain to me... You don't need to explain to me, Oak. I am more than aware of your presence. Okay. More pretty pointless dialogue. How would you like to help me out? And he gives you a Pokedex. Full of nude pics of himself. So, yeah, I'm not going to be showing you guys because PG. Sorry, I know, I know you want to see old man um, private parts, but it's not going to happen, guys. I and probably a majority of you guys are creepy. There's no denying that, but yeah, sorry. And goddamn, it's taking me way too long to get through those doors. Professor Elm's gonna call me. Uh, something terrible happened, probably involved me, because I'm just a bitter bastard. But anyways, um, I'm gonna end it right here because. That's a good spot to leave off on, and we're quite a few minutes into the video. And, yeah, got an Eevee. We accomplished a lot, so I'm satisfied. Let's go ahead and save it. So, comments, rate, subscribe, and peace.